In the age of internet and social media, accessing news and information in general is easy and without costs. Sharing this information has become also easy, just a click in a social media platform. But not all that we read is true. Fake news, hate speech and conspiracy theories are issues that connect with each other and nowadays can be easily spread from the digital to the analog world, affecting the lives of minorities or even bigger numbers of citizens destroying democracy. On the weekend of 23rd of July until 25th, a workshop about those issues took place in Springen, a small town near Hanover, Germany. Mr. Leonard Walter from the organizers explained us the purpose of the workshop and who organized it. The Jugendpolitik Dialogue are a project which aims at bringing politicians and young people together so they can talk about problems or things which young people are facing right now. And the idea is that they can communicate about this. Politicians hear something uh, from the youth and the youth can ask questions and also learn something about politicians. And our workshops are organized together with the groups who are in the Jugendpolitik Dialoge and they told us that fake news right now and hate speech is a theme which is very prevalent with young people and it's an interesting topic right now and that's why we uh, organized this workshop where young people from all over, over Lower Saxony can talk about fake news they learn something about it and they can also and do practical things. So we just did fake news on our own to learn how the mechanisms of fake news work. In my personal opinion, I don't think you can really separate them. They are both very uh, important issues. Um, and I think they both tie into problems which our democracy is facing right now. It's fake news, misinformation, and also hate speech in the sense that um, our society um, has lost some of its values. And that we are, like when we talk about hate speech, we try to um, communicate about the values which make up our free democracy and our community and our society. The expert who was coordinating the workshop, Mrs. Alia Pagin, a media educator, tried to explain for our viewers how can we protect ourselves from spreading false information. Well, there's no such thing as you know, ABC, and then you're pretty sure that it's true. Well, I information or not. Um, in general, I'd say be always very critical in your thinking. Check the source. Is it a source you know? Is it a source uh, which might seem awkward, shady? Um, and uh, if possible, try to find the same information by a, you know, well, search engines we all know. Uh, whether you find this kind of information at some other with some other source as well. <laughs> But it does make sense at least checking the source in terms of who's running the website. And with the internet nowadays, it's quite easy to actually find other sources saying something about an author or you know a journalist or whoever claims that information. Always be 
problem with uh, you know false information. Um, you know, I could give you some examples, but I don't want to go into much detail. Uh, but nowadays, with social media, everybody can be a journalist, and that is the main not problem because it has you know advantages as well because people have voice suddenly, whereas they didn't have one before. But the more important it is to to have a critical look at things and to you know if if there are you know talking about conspiracy theories for example if something seems dodgy or you know somebody claims I'm the only one knowing something the entire world doesn't know I would be very alert. One doesn't go without the other. So, you know, how to create speech most of the time is fake news. I mean, consider people like Donald Trump, for example. He just claimed that, you know, he won the election, and it's fake news that Joe Biden has won the presidential election. So, you know, it, it, one doesn't go without the other. That's the main problem. Fake news often results in hate speech. Thank you.